What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Smell What Coop is Cooking. On today's episode, we're gonna be hooking up some super fire homemade chicken enchiladas. Let's go. What's going on, folks? Let's hook up some enchiladas. But before we go too deep, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And as always, the full recipe is gonna be in the description, y'all. I've got a little over one pound of chicken breast here. I'm gonna clean this up, add it to my glass baking dish, and season these bad boys up. Hit each side with about a teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil. Next, go in with some chicken bouillon. About a teaspoon of that on each. One teaspoon of carne asada seasoning on each of these chicken breasts. Keeping it simple on the chicken, we're gonna flip it over now and repeat the process. One teaspoon each of extra virgin olive oil. Chicken bouillon, don't forget about that chicken bouillon, y'all. And carne asada seasoning. Next, I'm gonna slice one whole yellow onion into slivers and add that to my glass baking dish. Hit it with a little bit of chopped cilantro and about two tablespoons of chicken broth. Go ahead and pour that into the glass baking dish. Cover that up with some foil. And pop this in the oven. We're gonna cook this at 350 degrees for about 45 to 50 minutes. And while that chicken is cooking, let's go ahead and make a simple homemade enchilada sauce. In a small pot, I'm gonna heat about three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Once that oil heats up nicely, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a tablespoon of chili powder. One teaspoon of ground cumin one tablespoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of dried oregano, and about one teaspoon of salt. Go ahead and whisk all that up. Mix all that together. Damn, Coop. Getting all over the pot, bro. Anyway, keep whisking that up until you smell it start to get a little fragrant. Should take about a minute. Once that happens, go ahead and throw in about three tablespoons of flour. Whisk all that together till you can get this pasty consistency, kind of cakey-like. Whisk all that together and add two tablespoons of tomato paste. Hit it with a dash of cinnamon to set it off. Now I'm gonna slowly whisk in about two cups of chicken broth. Slowly whisk that in until that paste becomes smooth. And once you got all that chicken broth whisked in and your paste becomes loose, it's time to throw in about a tablespoon of dried cilantro. Whisk that up to combine. Hit it with a little bit of black pepper to taste and one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. And this is optional, but for a little bit of heat, I'm gonna throw in a dash of cayenne pepper. Whisk all that up. Bring this to a boil, lower your temperature, and then let it simmer on low for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, remove your sauce from the heat. It should thicken up a little bit as it cools. We're just gonna transfer that into a glass measuring cup. Now our homemade enchilada sauce is finished, and after about 45 minutes, our chicken is as well. Let's go ahead and whip that foil back let you guys see how good that chicken looks. Oh yeah. Get this out into a mixing bowl and let's go ahead and shred up this juicy, tender, delicious chicken breast. Look at the chicken, y'all. Look at the chicken. Looking hella fire in that bowl. 
go ahead and slap that subscribe button you know you want to while you're down there hit the like button homemade enchilada sauce check shredded chicken breast done next let's go ahead and hook up some tortillas for these enchiladas in a pan i'm gonna hit this with some non-stick zero calorie how do they do that avocado oil i've got six yellow corn tortillas gonna go ahead and throw that into my pan spray that with a little more oil and fry that on both sides just enough to get it pliable you don't want to fry it too hard because you don't want it to be crispy just want it loose enough so you can roll it with ease repeat that process for all six tortillas and let those rest on a paper towel all right now we've got all of our major components done it's time to start putting these enchiladas together in a large glass baking dish i'm going to add about two or three tablespoons of this homemade enchilada sauce to the bottom and spread that around evenly now over to my enchilada rolling station here i've got my shredded chicken shredded cheese I've got some olives to go on top once they're rolled and some corn that's going to be going inside got a tortilla down on a plate i'm going to go ahead and add some of that cheese in you can really add as little or as much cheese as you like just make sure you're not adding so much where you can't roll this bad boy up next a little pinch of corn a good bit of shredded chicken on there same principle as the cheese y'all make sure all your filling is in the middle grab the side of your tortilla roll that over your filling then you just want to kind of tuck it and roll it all the way over now that's a damn good looking enchilada y'all but you know your boy used to work at a mexican restaurant for like two days so you know he got skills anyway put your enchilada down slap another tortilla down and repeat the process for all six enchiladas Wonder. every time i make enchiladas the first one always comes out super skimp and the rest of them beefy as all hell i can't help it that's just how it has to go now that i got all six of my enchiladas rolled and sitting inside of my glass baking dish I'm going to pour about a cup to a cup and a half of this delicious homemade enchilada sauce on the top of all of my enchiladas. Now I'm going to sprinkle about a cup to a cup and a half of this mixed shredded cheese. Remember that sharp cheddar and Oaxaca. Next, I'm going to sprinkle about a quarter cup of cotilla cheese all over these enchiladas hit it with about a quarter cup each of this corn and sliced black olives as well cover this dish with some foil and we're going to pop this in a preheated 350 degree oven for about 25 minutes after 25 minutes have passed you want to pull that foil top off and let it cook for an additional five minutes after 30 minutes have passed let's pull these bubbling enchiladas out and take a look Woo! hella fire y'all look at that cheese bubbling let's go ahead and let these rest for about five minutes before we get ready to plate Earlier, I went ahead and hooked up some Mexican rice. Got a recipe for this one on the channel too. Go ahead and check the archives. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button while you're there. Let's scoop a couple of these enchiladas up on a plate. And I want you to look at that. A couple of fire shredded chicken enchiladas. Finish it off by drizzling some Mexican sour cream on top and garnish with a little bit of chopped cilantro sprinkle some of that cotilla cheese on top and man these fire enchiladas are ready to go 
Let me go ahead and grab a fork and get a scoop for coop. Cutting into it, and you can see all that chicken. You can see all that cheese. Damn, Coop, you've done it again. What can I say, y'all? Another fire recipe. Let me know how you guys like this one in the comment section. There you have it, you guys. Homemade chicken enchiladas with homemade red sauce, man. Let me know how you guys like this one in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with friend or folk. You already know. Hit the subscribe button, slap that bell next to it. Make sure you hit all so you don't miss any of these hot episodes. And we'll catch you right back here next week for another episode of Smell What Cooper's Cooking.